We'll make the chart in our application using a library called Flutter2, which is open source. It's based off another library called Flut, um, but without um, so many dependencies. I think the, the, li the prototype library is removed or something like that. The thing is that it's quite uh, lightweight and it works pretty well, so I've opted um, to use it. Uh, as you can see, that uh, it has all sorts of different um, charts that you can use. So you need to look at the documentation for the um, and the examples for the types of charts that you are planning to use on your own projects. Um, what we need from here is um, this file, the, the minified file, which is this one. And I've placed that inside of uh, the JS folder along with the other JavaScript files. You need to include that in your... Uh, I've included that on my index.html file, so it's up there. And now if we go to the... to, to, to report.html, I've added a rounded panel, like we've done before. Gave it a title of time distribution, which is the title of the chart. And in the inside, I added a, a container, which I called chart div. And I gave it a, a width of 100% and a height of 300 pixels. Um, you don't need to place this inside of a round panel or anything. You can just place this div anywhere you want. But I thought it would look better if I did it that way. Um, there's another <coughs> important thing that I've modified here. This is records.html, a different page. In all the other pages we have um, the uh, indicator set as true. That's the loading indicator. When the, when you open the page, it shows a loading indicator for a, for a very short um, fraction of time, and then it, that's gone. Well, if you have that in place, um, in and you and you're planning on using the, this charting library, it's not going to initiate properly because while this thing is on, everything else is hidden, and the Flutter two library relies on things not being hidden in order to. <coughs> create the chart. So for this particular page I'm not showing the loading indicator. And that took a lot of um, pain to, to, to get right but um, so you don't you don't have to make the same mistake and get stuck there if you're planning on using a charting library on your app. Um, now let's go to the code of um, ztempo.js. We've initiated our list um, our image list, and now we're going to initiate the chart. The first thing we need to do is select the, the, the chart element by ID. That's how I've done it. And then I'm going to create an empty array which will store the, the data for the chart in the correct format. Now, what the format should be, that's something you get from the documentation by looking at the examples on, the, on, the, on their website. I'm going to iterate through all of the projects and save the number of hours um, on in, in, the, in this array using the right format, which uh, which is like this, like a, an array and then another array, uh, zero, and then I'm showing the, the number of hours. It's not, this number is not going to be shown. What it's going to show is the percentage, but you have to write the number here. And this is where the name of the project goes the, 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 for the legend. So that's initiating all this um, array. And then I could just show the chart, but I don't want to just show the chart because if there are no records, it's going to show an empty chart and it's going to look very ugly. So I'm only going to show the chart if there are any records. So this is how I've, I'm doing that. I'm just creating an if statement to make sure there is something inside to show. If there's nothing to show, I'm just going to show like a message for the user. You haven't tracked your time yet. This should be a little bigger. And if there are records, then I'm going to initiate the, the chart following the, the what I what you can find in the examples for a pie chart. Basically, we are um, using this um, global object that's brought by including um, this library file, and we're calling a draw method on the corresponding div which we've selected before that has the chart data in the right format. And then there's different options that you can play with, and in this case I'm, I'm using Pi, showing the Pi chart, and uh, some options for the legends as well. So if I didn't make any 
a silly mistake, we should be okay. Um, let's track some time. Well, let's not track any time first. See what it looks like when when there's nothing. It shows. Uh, it tells you that you haven't tracked your time yet. Now let's track some time. Just for one project. That that's of course hundred percent for that particular project for app one. And I can track some time for another project now and some for app three as well. And you see how it, um, it it shows you the distribution of the time, how you're using your own time. Um, just to, s to summarize, um, we downloaded the Flutter 2 library, we included it in the minified version in our index.html app. Now in report.html we made sure there's no loading indicator in here, because if there is, you're not going to see any charts. We created a round panel with a header, and inside of a round panel there's a, a, a div, which I call chart div. I gave it a pro uh, width and a height, so that's something you have to do. It can be in percentage or in, in pixel units. And then I initiated the chart uh, by selecting the firstly the, the, where it's going to be placed, uh, what the data is going to be, that, that was all um, initiated here, following the documentation of this, of this chart library. And if there are records, I want the chart to be shown as a pie chart. If there are no records, I want the user to um, I want to let the user that there's no records yet, that there's nothing to show.